Hello, 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 it's Kyle Van Voris with Voris.com and today I'm gonna share with you how to do something that most salespeople are absolutely terrible at, getting referrals. Let's dive right in. Alrighty, so, you know, it's a lot easier to close a deal when it comes from a referral. We all know this. People know other people, and people also know other people who have challenges that they used to have that you solved with your product or service. Now, what we often do too much of is sit back and wait for people to send us referrals. Wrong. I have a better way. It's called asking for them. <laughs> I know, super, super innovative. And I actually have a three-step process. It's super, super simple, but you can add it into your workflow and you can automate some of this stuff in order to make it a bit easier for you. The idea is keep a relationship with the people that you close. Let me explain. Oh, and before I jump in here, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. It also lets me know you like this kind of content. Anyway, let's jump in. Okay, so after you close a deal, you engage in what I call step one. And step one is simply reach out to the person you just sold, the now customer, and see how onboarding went. So you give them a call, and if they don't answer, you send them an email. The only goal of the email is to get them on the phone to catch up and see how onboarding went. If you can connect with them through the call, you're just simply asking them, hey, how did onboarding go? And just get their experience. Oh, where are you guys at now? How are you using it? Just touch base with them. This is probably gonna be three weeks after you close the deal, and it's gonna show that you actually care about their usage of your product or service. This is key. You're not asking for a referral right now. You're just building the relationship, or should I say keeping the relationship that you spent all that time building during the sales process. Okay, step two. This one's also simple. A month after they've been onboarded, follow up and ask them how it's going. Are you liking the solution? Is it having an impact? What has happened since you implemented our product or service? These are the type of questions you wanna ask and it's coming from a genuine place. Ask them how they are. Treat them like a friend. I'm gonna repeat it. You spent all this work building a relationship during the sales process. Don't let that go away just because they actually closed the deal. Another important thing here, we are not asking for a referral yet. We're building social or uh, relational equity, right? We're showing we care about them beyond just closing the deal. I'm not saying to be disingenuous here. This should come from a real place. You should care about your prospect's usage of your product or service. If not, why are you selling the thing? All I'm saying is don't bug them for referrals yet. So genuinely reach out, show them you care, and I hope that you actually do. I definitely do, and this is what I do in my practice. And step three here, this is gonna be a month after the previous call, so this is probably total two and a half, three months before you should start asking for referrals. You're gonna reach out again, and you're going to ask them how things are going. Same old song and dance. See how things are going over there. Are they still liking the solution? And then you're going to end that conversation by saying, hey, since it seems like this has been going well over the past three months, and I'm really glad to hear that, and I knew it would, uh, just curious, do you know anybody else that maybe I can reach out to and show them this solution? And then that's it. Let them actually tell you. And this is how you generate referrals. And there's no secret here. It's just about genuinely caring about the prospects that you sell to, who become customers, and then finally, just ask them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and I'll talk to you soon.